Welcome back to the Southern Quality Ford Friday Night. Let's see. Johnny's Pizza House Spear Stick has made its way all across the Arkla, Texas. And this week, it was over in East Texas. This week's winners are the Mount Pleasant Tigers. Crystal Whitman was with the Tigers this week and has more. Let's check it out. Now, the Johnny's Pizza House Spirit Stick. On a typical Friday night in East Texas, the football stadium for the Mount Pleasant Tigers is packed with a sea of black and gold. That's why they're the Week 9 Johnny's Pizza House Spirit Stick winners. We are extremely excited and blessed and thankful that we were chosen to win the Spirit Stick this week. We have a lot of spirit and we're glad that other people, not only just in the community and at our school, recognize that. Their school spirit, cheerleaders, crowd participation, and band performance made them a shoe in for the award. Our school has a ton of spirit. We have dress up days every Thursday before game days, and so many students participate in it. It's amazing. It's awesome. Not only is our school really involved with all of our organizations, the community is as well. Congratulations on a victory well deserved. Crystal Whitman, NBC6 News. Thanks, Crystal. Let's now send it over to Jory Perry, who's with the voice of the bird, Yellow Jackets, Charlie Cavell, with this week's top plays and a little bit of stolen property. Jory? Stolen property. I'm making plays my own over here and enjoying it very much. Thank you, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> here with Charlie, Charlie Cavell. Love this part of the night. Favorite part of every night. Top three plays of the week in week nine. Ready to help me break some of this down. Let's do it. Let's get into it. Week one tonight. Let's go. First off, Calvary and Mansfield. Here's Kate Hart going up top and finding Roy Darius Bird. 54 yards on the scoring strike. What a beaut of a pass here. He can really, really sling it. Saw it in week one. Knew they were going to get better throughout the year, and they certainly have. Four touchdowns last week, too. He's a pretty special player. Safe to say that. Second play now. This is coming from Parkway and Houghton. This is Gabriel Larry throwing up a Hail Mary. And look at this. Chase Turner making the grab in coverage. What do you like about this play? Well, first of all, Chase Turner was my neighbor for a long time. And then uh, Gabe Larry, you know, tough spot for Gabe to come in for his older brother, Amani. But he definitely has the arm to get it there. And Chase Turner. You know, Chase has a shot to maybe play at the next level, and that's an outstanding, outstanding play. I'm really good friends with his dad, J.D., who played at ULM. And so, you know, Parkway, tough loss tonight, boy. They really uh, gave, uh, gave Houghton everything they could uh, ask for and more. <laughs> that's so awesome that you know him like that. All right, let's go. <laughs> Lastly this week, Atlanta and Jefferson. Here's D. Black takes the handoff from near their own goal line, finding the hole and taking it all the way down the field. Kid turns on the afterburners here in this play, huh? Well, what I like is he hit the hole, man, and once he hit the hole, he was gone. I mean, look, whoop, he ran right through an arm tackle, and bye-bye. You don't see another white jersey in the screen until he runs by these two guys that look like they're walking. <laughs> <laughs> Nickname him the, the shovel or the grave digger or something. <laughs> All right, Charlie, thank you so much for your thank time. You. We appreciate it very much. We will be right, hat, right back here on our Friday Night Blitz. Stay with Thanks us. Thanks for the popcorn.